and welcome to day two of the National Hunt in our last week here. Thanks for Martin to stepping in and getting the intro done for me yesterday. But uh, you've got my dulcet tones back today. Uh, we had some cracking racing yesterday. Uh, Oi Toy and I think Newbury was the first couple of races. Obviously there was a phenomenal win in race four. It was mine and a group one finally. After, I don't know, 10 years of playing the game, probably uh, eight years in the, the league, I actually got a real official Group 1, winning the Ferdinand Dufois Novice Jace, my little girl, Tainted Tina, beating 170 rated Fantastique and the 174 rated Chestnut Surprise. So I was well chuffed with that, but I guess we better move on uh, with today's racing. So we've got another 12 races for you today, and we're still at Oitoi to begin with, where we, the first race of the day is the Grand Course de Aise, de Hotel, or de Oitoi Erdo. There's a G1 of the three mile one furlong where eight's a mystery and prime suspect go up against each other again. Eight's a mystery has uh, won three of its previous four. Prime suspect has uh, just won the one and eight's a mystery goes up against him again looking to make up for that one little blip, blip on its record in the past few weeks where prime suspect overturned eight's a mystery so there's definitely a reverse forecast there but i'm sure you won't get much in return then race 14 it's the pre de brissac novice chase over two mile five furlongs uh, john morgan's got moo vodka in there hot port for paul Rhodes. eight's the ground for joshua Sutherland, all with some really good form further down the field you've got levadotti of down thompson who's just uh, not probably hit the heights he was hoping never the less for Carl Araganti, Yuna for David Robertson, Young Falcon for Alex Cherry, and Musty Muff, Stu Gray down the bottom. Though the conditions are still not ideal for him, he really needs some firm ground that we've not seen at all this season over the hunt. That moves us on to race 15, still at Oitoi, and we've got a two mile four handicap hurdle. Quite an open field there. The highest radius hurdler in it is 103, which is the Molliot's No White, the Molliot Surfer, but uh, really has no form. The biggest form in there is Night Fever for Derek Hinton, whose stables are just on fire in the past few weeks, and he's running off 98 and probably will go very well. Race 16, that's the pre Catho handicap chase. Again, over two mile five furlongs. Relatively small field for a two and a half mile chase. Again, not a lot of form in there. Highest rated chaser there is the 116 rated Frank Converter for Kevin Minahan. Although the best he's done in the past previous four weeks is a fifth. Got Cry right in there for David Robertson. has got a second rated 111. A couple of Doug Warren horses that have fallen and unseated in their previous. My Guardian Angel for Serious Chill looks the one that may well take it. Running off 100. Uh, came second last time out, so I'd put my money on that. Race 17 is the Grand Course Days de Pontemps. It's a G3 handicap with only six runners over two mile five furlongs quite a surprise really here top rated handicap the horse there is Galadriel Zelke which has raced at 152 10 points below is Zombie for Joshua Sutherland but it's unseated on its previous ride the Bear for Derek Hinton in there was the only one with uh, a win last time out and Goldilocks of Paul Rhodes down the bottom as really a chaser going in off 114 but uh, again you've got to look at the Bear Derek Hinton Try and follow up with a double with that horse. He's definitely the man on fire at the moment. So then we finally move over to Perth, where we've got the Highland National, which is a three mile seven furlongs. There's a few Grand National horses in here. The highest rated chaser in there is going to be the 117 and the 120 rated, sorry, third profit of Joshua Sutherland. Has no form uh, of anything to speak about. Um, according to the trainer, never won, so which is quite rare for a Josh horse. And then just below them in the ratings, the 117 rated Agent Blue, but pulled up in its last two starts. The 117 rated Zacrete, which was fourth in the Grand National. And then a little bit further down, Derek Hinton's No Half, who's unseated his rider in the previous four, which is good for a Dell Hinton horse. That will uh, not have to challenge anybody else. It's an open race, as we know. Race 19, the Perth Gold Cup handicap chase follows that. It's a three mile handicap chase. The top rated chaser in there is going to be Mayor Days of Darren Thompson. Uh, tends to pull up occasionally. Had a couple of thirds of late. Eights the fence is the hurdler. Comes over to the jumps off of 122, so we'll be given 20 pounds from the top weight. Further down the field, fine fettle for David Robinson coming in on 105. Winner last time out, fourth the time before. Got to have a chance to put in there second in that uh, great race a couple of weeks back against its uh, stable companion all gate put Hawthorne for Jane Follis has got a win so uh, pretty open um, could be a surprise with eights defences nicking in there 160 rated hurdler which will probably beat uh, 126 rated chaser here with uh, James Follis the second in line there. Race 20, still at Perth, it's the summer champion handicap hurdle. The mighty Stu Gray goes in this one, he's 160 rated along with the Irish King for Joshua Sutherland. Hip to be squares in there for Joshua Sutherland off 150. 
Indy all gate. A couple of wins in the previous four for Conor Aragante. Must have a chance. Further down the field, seven furlongs for Derek Hinton. As we said, 164 rated chaser. So he's actually the top rated chaser in the race. My apologies. I forget to look at the, the card correctly. Carrying 12 stone. Stable's on fire. He may well just pick a win there. Then we've got the Krabby's Handicap Chase, which will be race 21 on your car, which is two and a half miles. Fairly open field there. Plenty of trainers with a couple. Georgina and half-time tea time from Stu Gray. Time charter and Sonic Lady for Graham Clutterbuck. Martin Leadham's Whip Hand, which will probably go off favourite. He's rated 120. The top rated horse in it is Stray Bullet of David Robertson, who has a bit of patchy form. Comes in, in and out. So good luck to everybody in that one. And then race 22. It's the Durham National Handicap Chase over three miles six. Again, there's probably a couple of horses in here that run over the National. There's not a lot of form to speak about. I think the only couple of previous winners in the past few weeks of promotion of Paul Rhodes, which will be the top weight and a W again from Kevin Meenahan. But I think there's a few in there that may, may surprise. It could be a little... Uh, an unknown horse that may well pick that one up. Penultimate race of the day is over at Sedgefield. It's the John Wade Novices Handicap Hurdle. It's over three miles. There's only four going to post, which is quite rare for a handicap here. Heart has a wish for Molly at surface, rated 160, which means Loud Queen, Sea Devil and Montoya. The remaining three will be running off nine stone 12. And I would say it could be well Montoya that will take that one. I think Heart has a wish, even though it's got superb form will find 12 stone on his back too much. The final race of the day is going to be over at Market Raisin, where we've got the Summer Hurdle listed handicap. So the two mile, one furlong. It's four year olds and up, so you got a few four year olds down the bottom. Heavenly Swift and Darren Howes, Flying Swish of Alex Cherry, Dan Dare's girl of Stu Gray. Moon Ferry of Martin Leedham's had some form of late, but up the top is Montana of Paul Rhodes, second last time out, a winner the previous week. Although you've got a couple of Del Hinton horses, well you've got one Del Hinton horse in there which you have to worry about in the, in the form that he's in is Elizabeth Van. So good luck with that, that's the week. Uh, again thank you for Martin yesterday doing the intros for me. Um, I hope you all have a good day today. Obviously it won't get as good as yesterday where obviously there was a fantastic trainer winning a G1 for the first time ever. <laughs> Alright guys, if you can guess this theme tune I'll uh, kiss you on all four cheeks inside Sainsbury's window. I won't give you any clues today. I'll give you a clue tomorrow. And that's it. Goodbye.